All right, guys, so Clash Royale just announced some big news a couple hours ago. As a lot of you guys know, a lot of people really didn't like the last update, so they decided to make some improvements to it. They made a tweet here saying, hey, everyone, we will soon introduce some changes to Goblin Queen's journey. Here's a brief list. New arena with added rewards, changes to the Goblin Queen in card cap, evolution slots will be unlocked earlier, easier and smoother progression, and removal of silver chests. You can read more details about it below. So we're going to get into the details of everything that was listed here and then more things going on in the Clash Royale community in this video. And we'll also look at people's feedback on if these changes are good or not. Here we go, let's get into everything in the official Clash Royale Reddit post. Changes and new content coming soon to Goblin Queen's Journey. We are reaching out to let you know in advance that with the next season, we are introducing some changes and new content to Goblin Queen's Journey. So, what's coming? A new Goblin card is coming, so there's going to be a brand new card apparently. You will be able to unlock it for free right away and get more cards by progressing through the Goblin Queen's Journey. Here's a piece of trivia. Although it's a goblin card, its name doesn't contain the word goblin, so that's interesting. No goblin anywhere in the name. I feel like that's not a really big clue, though. I don't know if there's any way people are going to be able to guess what it is. There's also a new arena. This means more rewards. Among the new arena rewards, you'll find more copies of the new goblin card. Check out the list of the new arena's rewards. So there's a goblin stash chest, 700 new goblin cards. So whatever the new card is, you're going to get 700 of it, apparently. There's two magical chests, one goblin strongbox chest. There's a goblin bounty chest and then a legendary king's chest. So the legendary king's chest, that's pretty good. Queen and card cap changes. For more sinner majestic progression between the queen and king trophy roads we are making the following changes the level cap will be removed the queen's tower level will follow the king's tower level mm. so this is not good i have a feeling people aren't gonna like this the level cap being removed i'm not sure why they're doing that because that of course makes it more pay to win but maybe that's the goal of that but so far the other changes look pretty good while we understand this change may be less encouraging for some players to use their lower level cards it should also improve the variety of decks as different players prioritize upgrading different cards well there you go prioritizing upgrading different cards that's i guess the explanation or why they did that so one evolution slot unlocked right away two evolution slots unlocked at arena four for the same reasons mentioned above, allowing evolutions from the start will incentivize the use of each player's preferred evolutions, resulting in a larger variety of decks. This is a good change. This, I think, is ultimately a very good thing, so people can use evolutions that they have earlier if they want to. I don't think anyone's going to complain about that. Smoother progression, honoring the more casual nature of this game mode, we will be lowering the trophy loss rate, which should help more players progress through the road faster. That's very good. One of the biggest complaints I've seen about this mode is how long it takes to get to 3400 or to get to the last arena, which unlocks you the goblin machine, or you have to get very far in it to unlock the cards and get the rewards. So this is ultimately a very good change. That might be one of the best changes of the whole thing. So casual players are more motivated to play it. Trophy values on battle loss will be adjusted as follows. So in arena one, you get six. Wait, wait, wait. So in arena one, if you lose a game, you're gaining trophies. Same with arena two, you're gaining three. And then arena three, it evens out. So when you lose, you're not losing anything. And then arena four, you're only losing three. That's pretty cool. People I bet are going to be playing it more now as a result of that. And then there's no more silver chests. So silver chests are being removed from Goblin Queen's journey chest cycle to increase the value you get from playing this game mode. I think that's ultimately a good thing because silver chests really suck. And the economy in this game recently has been super inflated with all the new cards and stuff required to upgrade that Silver chests, I feel like shouldn't even exist altogether in this game, to be completely honest, or the rate should be lowered to help compensate for all the gold and cards you need nowadays. So this, of course, is a very good thing. I'm glad they took that away from the Goblin Queen's journey. And then they said here, we hope you enjoy the new content, adjustments, and rewards coming for Goblin Queen's journey game mode. See you in the arena, Clash Royale team. So that looks like it's everything. I guess you guys can leave your thoughts in the comments below what you guys think of these changes. And with that being said, 
we'll look at what some people are commenting on Reddit under Clash Royale's post if people think these changes are good or bad. And here's what I expected. The first comment is talking about how does removing the level cap increase variety? All the other changes are good, but I don't really agree with this one because it just makes battles more unequal and people want to use the cards they already have upgraded instead of trying new things. The variety of money they make because frustrated players put money into the game. And then another person said something similar here. If they remove the level cap, how will that allow the players to use more variety of decks? It is quite the opposite. People with less high level cards won't be able to use the cards they want, so they will have to use ones they have upgraded. It literally allows people to use less cards than without the level cap. Like, yeah, technically we will see more variety of decks, but not well-made decks. People will use different decks, but because they have no other option, not because they want to. So basically you are forcing them to use different decks. And then another person here says, actually nice changes, Supercell, except the level cap, but otherwise good. So I agree, the general consensus seems to be everything is good except the level cap. So all in all, this is definitely an improvement to the Goblin Queen journey, I would say. With that being said, let's get into what else is going on inside of the Clash Royale community. This is one of the top posts of the week on Reddit, new update, update for winners. So this is an update idea. To any of you out there who are dumb enough to think this is real, it's not, wake up, the game is still dying. So it's an idea of how to make a good update. Remember when there was an update for losers? So this is what an update for winners would look like. The update where everyone wins. It has quite a lot of upvotes. It looks like there's a lot of tabs or pictures included here so let's go through some of it so gold pass six dollars where you're getting way more rewards yeah i mean this would be pretty insane if you got all of this and then the diamond pass well there's the book of books you get a whole evolution bunch of elite wild cards i mean this would be really nice if this did end up happening 500 gems as well and then what is this this is a season token and shop change where the shop, what is this, where you have the book in it. I'm not sure what the specific changes that he's referring to. Maybe he's talking about the rewards. That's probably what it is, just improvements in the rewards. And then more tier three masteries with better rewards and then tower troop masteries. Ooh, tower troop masteries would be really good. Yeah, for the Dagger Duchess Cannoneer Princess Tower, they should do that. I actually don't even know why that's not in the game yet. That's actually a brilliant idea. I'm surprised I haven't heard anyone else bring that up because technically they are cards now. They should have a mastery and then just better rewards in general where he's showing here you get shards for evolutions. I mean, that would be really awesome, of course. And then new star level skins. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what happened to star levels. They just stopped adding those a long time ago for some reason. I can't tell you guys how many people I've seen bring that up. That would just be a great improvement. And then this is just it looks like quality of life changes to the clan. Yeah, how cool would that be if your banner shows up on the clan? It's a way to kind of personalize, customize your profile, even when people are just viewing it in the clan. That would be really cool. Like, honestly, these are just changes. Like, this looks so clean. I would definitely say this is objectively an improvement. Probably most people would think it is. What else do we got here? This is bonus rank reward tiers completed obtain a lucky drop for every 20 crowns you earn so this would encourage people to play more i don't see the harm in that so you complete basically your pass where you've gotten all the tiers and then you get bonuses i mean even if they think 20 is too generous they could do 50 i mean at least something to encourage people to keep playing right wouldn't be a bad idea and then tournaments updated more uses for gems so the piggy bank where you can actually use gems to unlock it and then private tournament what is this you get you get a magical chest oh yeah that's not a bad idea because there used to be card rewards you would get for the private tournaments back in the day you would have the 250,000 card tournaments and then what is this on the what is this here oh gems for that they're cheaper it looks like yeah i think that's probably what it is lowering the price and i think that's good because the economy like i've mentioned before has been really inflated that a lightning chest shouldn't be what it is same with the legendary king's chest this is more accurate i feel like of what the price should be and then this is selling banners are you sure you want to sell the koopa knight banner 
Kappa Night Banner decoration, you get 10 gems. I, I really don't think they're going to do this. This is kind of one I highly doubt they would do. I don't think they would want to give players the option to sell, especially the people that have so many banners or if they decided to do this for emotes. I mean, it's a nice idea. It would be really cool if they gave people the option, but I feel like this out of everything is the one they definitely would not do. I just would find that so surprising but it would still be cool i feel like just in general giving people the option to do more things in the game is generally going to be a good thing and then buying emotes with star points so you get the option of gems or the star points and so many people have star points just saved up massive amounts and they can't do anything with them i mean that would be nice but i just don't know if they're gonna do this it would be really cool if they don't add more star levels if they at least do something like this so we have a way of spending them. As the Clash Royale team, we sincerely apologize for our past mistakes. We realized the updates we've been releasing weren't meeting your expectations, and understandably so. That is why we have decided to completely change the way we operate and will, for now on, try and bring you the best updates we can. Starting with this one, we are also changing the offers to actually match the value indicated. We know the offers we released in the shop weren't really worth the price, and we apologize for that. To make it up to you, we are planning to release actual 20 times value starting tomorrow until the end of the season. We hope you will be able to forgive us and start trusting us again. Remember, we love the game just as much as you do, and by no means we are ready to let it go. I mean, could you imagine if this ended up actually happening? This would probably be the best update in the history of the game, especially probably in the last five years, without a doubt. I mean, this is probably what the game would need realistically for it to have any chance of being able to compete with Brawl Stars in terms of the amount of popularity Brawl Stars has. I mean, they would need to do something massive like this. Otherwise, I just don't see things changing anytime soon with how the game is monetized. But yeah, I guess we can only dream. Either way, hope you guys ended up enjoying the video. I think this was a good post to end off of. I thought I was going to show a lot of posts, but I think going through all these pictures and looking at all the ideas here was pretty cool. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already. You can use creator code BOSS to support me in any Supercell game. And thanks again until next time, guys.